Ryan here. I'm a board certified specialist physician. Thank you so much for joining me in our 11th video in this OSCE series. We are tackling lipemia retinalis. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I strongly encourage you to do just that. Okay, guys, here is the question. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we can see a beautiful uh, picture of endoscopy. So we're looking at the retina. And is this area, uh, which looks a little bit fishy, so what is the diagnosis uh, for one mark? And then number two, what is this condition associated with? And thirdly, which other features should one be on the lookout for? And then we'll talk a little bit about the Friedrichsen classification of primary dyslipidemia. So of course, what is the diagnosis we're dealing with here? This is the appearance of lipemia retinalis, this area of hyperpigmentation of the disc, all right? And what is it associated with? Well. There is associated with, uh, let me just move this out of the way, with number one, familial hypertriglyceridemia and with familial dis-beta lipoproteinemia, mainly types 1 and 4. All right, what are the features should one look out for for two marks? You, these patients often present with eruptive xanthomata, uh, pancreatitis as well. So this is the features in classification of our primary uh, hyperlipoproteinemias, okay? Let's just get my pen in there. So there's five different classes, right? So the ones that are probably the commonest, the commonest one we're going to see is type 2B, which is what we call polygenic hypercholesterolemia, right? It's the commonest. Um, and we have um, elevated levels of our LDL. Now, LDL, you know, is the back cholesterol. It contributes to atherosclerosis, right? It's the one that's oxidized and goes into the formation of the foam cells and atherosclerotic plaque, okay? Uh, plasma lipids, your kind of microns may be up, but your type trigs are normal, right? The next probably most common one is type 4, which is hypertriglyceridemia, right? Which is polygenic and multifactorial in terms of etiology. And what's implicated here is very low density lipoprotein. We find your tricks are markedly raised. So between type 2 and type 4, those are probably the commonest that we see in clinical practice. Uh, less common is type 2A, which is familial hypercholesterolemia, where LDL is once again to blame. But we see a marked increase in kind of microns and your tricks are normal. And next up after that is going to be familial combined hyperlipidemia, which implicates both very low density lipoprotein and low density lipoprotein. We find elevations in both the kinomicron and the trig levels. And then rare and very rare is type 3, which is familial dyspeach lipoproteinemia, and type 1, which is familial lipoprotein lipase deficiency, which implicates the kinomicrons. But guys, just remember the commonest types we have, type 2B, which is polygenic hypercholesterolemia, which targets VDL, uh, sorry, LDL. And the next common one is type 4, which is hypertriglyceridemia, in which it implicates VLDL. Alrighty. Okay, my friends, the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 6 says that the mind which is governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. The carnal man always wants to rise, he always wants to show himself. But when the Holy Spirit fills us, he allows us to bring the flesh under subjection. The book of Galatians chapter 2.20, Paul says, I have been crucified to this world. So the world is dead to me. I am dead to this world. Whenever somebody provokes you or you find yourself in a uh, situation of temptation, a situation of compromise, just remember that the Holy Spirit can help you to overcome. And um, you can be victorious by the grace of God, which you can access via humility and by the power of the Holy Spirit. And in this way, our minds can be governed by the Spirit and we will have life and peace. God bless you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon with another handy video on my channel. God bless you.